Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring, and it's time for the rooftops. And there's tons of loot on here, it's probably too much for me to fit into the title, so we're just going to call this the Rayla Coria Rooftops or something like this. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to call it yet, but it'll be part, well, quite high, but we're going to be over 40 by the time we get this one out. Which is cool, obviously Renala is already defeated, um, probably a good idea not to bring too many runes down here if you can help it. I'm obviously not using any rune items right now, so I'm not going to round this one up, uh, round this one off. Um, but yes, this is a um, an easy place to die. <clears throat> so just bear that in mind when you come down here, particularly with some of the jumps that we're going to be taking. Um, we're just going to run on over like this. Wow, I'll try not to fall over like I did. Oh man, I can't move. Oh my god. Alright, you're going to want to jump over this way. Excuse me. Uh, be careful down here because you're going to be immediately kind of lambasted from both directions. We're just going to run behind here for a backstab there because, well, it's just not well defended. If you want a bit of an easier way up in the future, we can go ahead and open this door. It's a good idea to have this unlocked because it is probably going to be more... Yeah, it's probably going to be more than one run because there's a couple of, like, branches and stuff as we go down. Uh, particularly if you want to get absolutely everything. Whoa! Um, and yeah, just having all of this stuff firing at you once is just a bit... It's a bit obnoxious. They did obviously want to lead you to here, though, so you can see that, you know, you can get down here. Tons of things, we're going to get an imbued key here, um, as well as Thop's key, depending on how well we do for time. We may, as we may go ahead and complete his quest in this video, too. It's uh, not being the way of that. I'm already low on healing, which is quite troubling, really. That's fine. don't think there's anything around this corner. Actually looks jumpable. Eh, there's no reason for it, but it's just interesting. Previous zone. Uh, can we see much around this way? I can't remember what we can see from here. Uh, there's no real value in coming all the way down here. Cool, so now we can go up for the bridge. We'll see if my uh, usual plan works. Lots of things seem to have been adjusted, like either really slightly or maybe I'm just doing things ever so slightly different, I don't know. <clears throat> but I don't know, so, some some behavioural patterns just seem slightly different. Uh, so here we've got uh, mechanical stuff on the on the lampposts. Now that we've got the extra range, this is actually much easier. Can I get you from here? Mm, maybe with this. That's amazingly good. <laughs> See, previously we weren't able to reach quite that far from here. Um, that's going to make that much easier. And I suppose I could have switched to Loretta's bow, actually, now that I think about it. Now, this one can use Shard Spirals. This is actually quite a strong spell, depending on the enemy that you're facing against. Um, it's not the best necessarily against individual, let's go with human shaped slash sized enemies, but anything bigger or good groups that kind of line up down a corridor, um, fantastic spell, but we're not going to be able to get it for a little while. I mean, not able is, is probably a bit of regular, we'll probably get it pretty soon, but um, we want to go down here. So I know this piece of loot here will drive a lot of people crazy. We will be getting that in this episode. In fact, we'll probably get that now. I think about it. So we're going to come over this way. Uh, I've had a lot of people saying they struggle with this jump. Um, I don't know what to say other than um, try to aim like downhill from yourself as you go out and make sure you are sprinting when you come over here. This jump is treacherous and you really do need to be like at the very last. Like, you need to be pressing the jump when you get to the differing colour on the roof. Get down. Having the rapier actually do real damage is, is quite nice, actually. Are you going to fall off? Come on. Nope, you can do that. Uh, two directions you can go here. You can jump across that way. Um, and that has you going kind of around there. Uh, and you drop from that way, you can drop through there. And that takes you down to a place where we're going to be going later anyway. But um, realistically speaking, I think on this first time around, you want to go this way. Just 
Just a few enemies to defeat. I love that extra pebble range so much. I can't get over it. I've, I've over-egged it now. I'm so sorry that I keep on saying it, but it, it is. It is glorious. <laughs> oh, see ya. Oh, I did not realise they could climb. It is a bit of a climb up the ladder, right? Oh my god, it's such a climb! Uh, yeah. So once we're up here, we should get the full moon crossbow. I think that's what it's called. It's a magical crossbow. I don't think my character has the stats to use it. I'm interested to take a look there. Uh, it needs... Oh, actually, we could use that. Because you could do... You'd, you'd be two-handing it anyway. Hmm. What's the range on it? The range is definitely better than the short bow. We, we may test that out. That could be a good option for us. The short bow being a pain. Right, so I'm not going to wait for that guy to come up here. What we want to do... Here we are. Let's jump onto here. Then, there's the piece of loot that I promised you that we'd get. Just notice that we can jump back over that way. I don't know, I'm not completely convinced whether or not you'd survive that jump. To go around there. I'm not planning to take that direction because I don't think it gets us anything extra. And it just causes an extra run down to, uh, to do the rest of the the rooftop so instead of jumping back over there and going around to where that tower is to drop down at the bottom um, and down there kind of right at the bottom of there is another one of the crystal crabs um, but we can get there a different direction so at least I, I think we can I feel like I remember we can uh, so we're gonna continue this way deal with you they have bows I don't think they do see you down I think that one did actually you down. Make sure we're not going to fall off. It's going to be a drop off. That's the imbued key on that tower there. Can't remember if there's anything over this way. Like something flies down to me. Mm, but it hasn't. Okay. Oh, notifications. Do you mind? Uh, let's just top up the old FP. Uh, I don't think it matters which side you drop down. We're going to go to the right-hand side because that's where I know the loot is that I want. I'm so going to want this. And then it's a rune arc across this jump on the left. So, jumpy trick. Don't think it's an ambush. With this one. This does give us the ability to have a bit of a look around at stuff. So that's where the hole would have been at the top. And we're going to aim to get there later on. Um, as we're back over there in a second, as you can see on the ladder. Um, and then we'll be having that crystal crab there as well. For another hat. Uh, so we need to make a jump across. I think we've actually got most of it now. It's good. Take a jump across. Go ahead and... Can I get you from... Oh, you know what? We definitely can get you from here. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Loretta's longbow is good for. Great bow, great bow, not longbow. Can't free aim it, but we can hit a lot of enemies from a good distance. So, we're going to go all the way down the ladder. It's just going to save us doing a restart, basically. Let's change spell. I don't think anything does aggro on us here, does it? Oh, don't roll off there. It's just checking. All that. Well, that's not the 
item I thought we were going to get. Mm. <clears throat> I don't think we'll be getting that one though. I'll probably double check after the video to make sure we haven't missed anything, but pretty sure that's everything we get from in there. And then we want to jump across this way. Thought I heard something. Uh, and then you can either pick left or right. I don't think there's much out this left way. We're going to clear it anyway, just so we can show you guys. Finally an advantage to being a mage, right? Most of the tight corridor areas have been an absolute nightmare, but... These rooftops are perfect for us. You dropped what you dropped. Oh, a helmet. Cool. Magic grease. Obviously, because we go through the windows, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go around. Uh, you probably can just get across the, ra across the rafters, but I find this safer. And then we want to... Do we want to drop off? Whoa. You know what, no, I don't think I do want to drop off here. No, if we drop off there, we won't get this stuff. I was a little bit wrong. Let's go in here, because the key, Lintstone key is that there, and we want that for Thop, so that we can get his um, quest done, because he'll give us an, a new gesture, which gets us into a tower, so we want that. Oh, that was almost too far. There we have Lintstone key. And then, I mean, don't ask me how it gets hidden here, but it does. And then we're going to come over here. We can see, look, we're going to get aggroed on. I wonder if I can one-shot you. It would be really nice. Let's switch to something quick, just in case we need it after. There we go. Very nice. Let's now come out here. Wow, PC was struggling with that there. Get this. Are you even feeling it, crab? God damn. Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. That's probably the most important one. Um, for the reason you guys will see later, you can see the huge amount of intelligence that it gives you. This is going to be important for a an incantation we're going to have to cast later that requires significant amounts of both faith and intelligence. So that's quite important for um, basically every other build except the one we're using right now. So just make sure that you grab that if you are not using a mage. Whoa, excuse me. I saw that coming. Touché, sir. Touché. I think I want to start, I think maybe each video I'm going to equip a spell I haven't really used much, such as Sat Shattering Crystal. Some spells like are reminiscent of spells that were in um, Dark Souls 2, and I just haven't used them because of that. So as you can see, we have Hage at the end of here. We're going to uh, erase some of that HP. Oh no, that's going to kill me. Oh no. Okay then, so uh, I took the opportunity to double check that tower as I died, and there is in fact on the right in there. So we're going to pick back up from the Greece where I just died rather than skipping back to that uh, same page that just killed me. Uh, I'm probably going to regret not having um, unlocked a shortcut that was there, and apologies that this is going to be slightly messy, but we're always going to have to do two runs anyway. I, di I did think we were going to have to, oh no, that was the wrong spell. Um, but I just couldn't remember exactly where and why. It turns out that's going to be the reason. As you can't get back up from either of the two routes. Oh man, you really do like throwing the bucket people, don't you? Let's put some healing on here. So a bit of a rerun here up until we reach the jump again.
we want to be uh, pelting these. One of the things that I've noticed that I really dislike is it'll stay engaged look and then the moment they stop shooting it disengages so it makes it really difficult to try and get out and get yourself a bit of a, a bit of a hit in there. Eat that. I mean, dislike's a strong word, but just, it's, it just seems like a strange way to, to have the mechanic act. Round two for you. Gonna get me. Let's get the way. There we go. So as that spins, it penetrates um, enemies, which is why that's a real cool spell. I'm looking forward to the people yelling at me in the comments now. <laughs> it's fun. Right, so uh, we're gonna drop down here, and then we want to make the jump across there again. See if we can do it three for three. This is where I'm going to fail the jump, I promise you. Oh, oh I knew it. <laughs> okay, so after having made the jump this time, let's make our way across. Yeah, make our way across. To the tower. I can't remember which hat this is. There'll be another uh, glintstone crown, of course. I just can't remember which one. Did you fall off? Hilarious. And you'll be able to see the crab as we drop down in a second. Hello, sir. Lazuli Glintstone Crown. Maybe we'll compare them all later. So now I'm going to have to go back. Let's skip going up the ladder. And of course we've jumped back around to the rooftop. Um, let's just get away without aggroing too many of the enemies here. Yeah, I want to go back onto the beam. Go ahead and do this again. Did it one-shot you last time? I think it did. Oh, I don't have the thing on. Never mind. Oh, now you're going to want to wreck me off here, aren't you? Yeah, let's get up. Oh my god, get off here quickly. We're so close to the shortcut as well. See, there's a ladder there. We just kick it down and then we have a shortcut. I find it really interesting that they don't aggro each other. Yeah, no, I'm out of FP. <laughs> you want to show me yours, do you? Probably hurts more than mine does. Right, Lazuli Rogue. Maybe we'll try that on. Could be light. Okay, so let's call this a rewrite before you face the page kick this down and just for reference then this basically allows us to get back up here from the very first grace we got when we came into the actual main academy. I should have done it beforehand, I was clearly being too uh, overconfident in attacking this and I completely forgot that it fired in threes and I shouldn't have gone for the second great bow. It's a whole list of mistakes, right? It's a litany of them. I'm going to fire my own first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come around this corner. It's clearly what the better idea is to uh, let it come over this way. And then we're going to uh, great sword it to death. 
Come on. You must have more pace in you than that. Or are you weighed down by the weight of the crossbow you're using? Kind of daggered. Like, fine. Cool. And in here, we're going to find um, a new staff. I don't know if we can use it yet. Does this have a 60 intelligence requirement? It does. 52, actually. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, not really much we can do with that right now. So that staff is a staff that will allow you to cast faster. With that and the Radigan's icon on, we can get maximum cast speed. But the, uh, the downside to that specific one is that it will uh, increase the cost of your spells. I think it's by like 30%, so it's it's a bit of a trade-off. I'm not entirely a fan of it, personally. But that is all of... Whoa! I was just looking at how long we've been going for. That's everything we need from the rooftops. And it's probably... Probably a good place to end the episode, but don't... No, let's, let's do Thop's quest. So now that we have Thop's key, or should I say the alternative Glintstone key, all we need to do is go back to the Church of Irith here. Go and see Thop again. Ooh. Let's go and do that. So back at Thop, we're going to give him the key. Elsa, get the key. Now we can go to the. I can't remember which one it's called. Is it the classroom? It's not the debate parlor. That's the boss. Classroom is the one that's underneath that. It's gonna be. It's not Church of Cuckoo. It must be the classroom. Let's go with the classroom. I think it's the classroom. Yeah, this is the right one. So basically, now we'll just come outside um, and heal me just here. Instead staff, thought spell bearing, thought barrier. Um, now that we have that, we can access. This rise just here. Uh, so, it's probably a bit long for this episode. We've got a couple of things we want to do anyway. We need to sort out the Belfry and we need to go do that rise. We also have the area bosses to do in Leonia before we're finished with the zone. So, we'll leave that for the next episode. I'm sure there's people asking about the carrier study. We are going to be going there much later in the game after we've done Rani's quest, which we're not doing until after we've done. We're done with Celevis Quest, which we're not going to touch until we've dealt with an NPC called Dung Eater, because that's how we get the most rewards. So, a bit of a litany of things to do. We've already done Bogart. He's already moved. That's good. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you're still enjoying the series, and we'll be picking up again soon.